made the trip to my local comic shop, the Scruffy Nerf Herder in Eureka, California. Nice little shop, brand new, trying hard. Looked at what I uh, have subscribed to, and I was kind of surprised to see that they were all DC comics. Uh, right now, I just feel like DC is has just a better uh, creative teams and better package on almost all of their comics than Marvel. Um, just going to talk a little bit about these. Green Lantern, I haven't been enjoying that much, I'll admit, but I'm going to give it a chance. I'm taking the number four. I'm going to reread all four back to back. I've got people telling me that I'm missing the mark on this and that I really need to give it another chance. Uh, so I'm going to. Um, on my list of books that is the uh, that is uh, underread and underappreciated has to be Hawkman by Venditti and Hitch. Brian Hitch is one of the best uh, artists in the business. His work on the Ultimates is, in my opinion, what revitalized the Avengers. And without it, we would not have had an Avengers movie. Or certainly it would have been drastically different than it was. So... Um, Hitch's abilities are, are, are unparalleled. He's just one of the greatest artists in comics in a really long time, in my opinion. Uh, his style is fantastic. Uh, and, and Hawkman is a character that I've never really cared about. Honestly, never read it before uh, as far as a regular series. I picked up the number one on a whim just based on the Hitch artwork. Uh, I came for the Hitch, but I stayed for the Hawkman. And I stayed for the Venditti. Uh, Robert Venditti used to work for Cold Cut Distributions, a, a, a comic, indie comic distributor you'd never heard of. And I, when I owned my comic book store, I used to order comics from him on the phone and we'd talk a lot. Now, he wrote a comic called The Surrogates that became a major motion picture with Bruce Willis. Didn't do that great, but it did great things for him. It really launched his comics writing career. Uh, it didn't go to his head. He kept his job at Cold Cut after that happened, even after having a multi-million dollar movie deal. I'm sure he didn't make m multiple millions, but you know how that works. Uh, he still, you know, just loved comics and loved the medium, loved working in it. And uh, when he started work, now that he's been working as a regular writer for DC, it's uh, Hawkman is probably my favorite DC book right now. Last book in my haul today is Batman. I have no idea. I was enjoying the Tom King story. This is a brand new arc I know nothing about. I'm going to give it a chance. If I don't like it, I'm going to drop it. But if I do, I'm going to keep it because I, I just feel we need to uh, celebrate the monthly comic again. Nobody loves graphic novels and trade paperbacks more than me. But I also realize that the lifeblood of the industry is in the floppy. I didn't always feel this way. I felt like the floppy was a relic and was going to go away. But now I really feel like it is uh, integral, super integral to the health of the comic book industry. We've got to get people into comic book stores uh, on a monthly basis, or hopefully on a weekly basis, but at a minimum on a monthly basis <coughs> to pick up comics that they enjoy. And that's the point where you can upsell them on all the other stuff, the toys and the games and those t-shirts and whatever, um, that are more and more becoming the major part of many comic book stores instead of the comics. I think it needs to flip around again Comics need to be the lifeblood and the core and the foundation of a store and that other stuff needs to, you know, support the health of that store. But without the comics, there is no comic shop. Um, one of the big problems with comics these days also, in my opinion, is, is, is the previews. I mean, look at this thing. It's a monster. This is, I don't know how many pages, it's thousands or hundreds of pages worth of stuff for to go through every month. And if that's not bad enough, Marvel puts out their own Marvel previews as well. Uh, you know, just to keep you from looking at other people's stuff. And man, if you've gone through a Marvel previews lately, you see a lot of garbage in there. I haven't read this one, but last month's was so full of books that literally 90% of I would never even consider reading. And I am a long time, decades long comics reader. And they look completely indecipherable. Uh, unappealing and uninteresting to me. So Marvel, you got to get your act together. Right now, DC is killing it uh, as far as mainstream comics go. Next time, we'll talk about some indie comics, maybe. Uh, but for now, go hit up your local comic book store, go pick up a copy of Hawkman, and enjoy it.